business for today with me, Vanessa. The largest Indonesian coffee brand exploring China international market. Kapalapi Global, the largest Indonesian coffee brand, has brought the company's quality products to the ongoing China International Consumer Products Expo, CICP 2023, ambitious to take a share in China's robust consumer market. Firstly established in 1927 by a younger named Go Soloet from China, the brand was firstly known as Hap Ho Chan and was renamed Kapalapi. Kapalapi Coffee now accounts for 60% of market share in Indonesia and has grown into a global brand on the shelves of about 70 countries and regions. It's the debut for a country old brand at the Consumer Products Expo. The head of the Indonesian coffee maker said that the company wants to have a better understanding of Chinese customers and search for Chinese partners to form a joint venture through the expo. Uh, we are hoping that through this expo we will be able to meet our end consumers as well as potential distributors so that we can understand better what the consumer needs and what product will be a good fit for the Chinese market. Uh, we are also exploring a cooperation with a local Hainan company. Uh, we hope that we can explore Hainan as a base for our coffee company. Uh, in We set up a joint venture uh, for coffee shops in Hainan and we are exploring to have this platform uh, to expand our presence in China. Kapalapi's products have reached more than 3,000 supermarkets and stores across China, as well as the brand's independent coffee experience stores in Shanghai. We use premium products. Uh, we use uh, packaging that we design especially for the Chinese market. Setiono said that his company aims to develop the vast coffee market with tailored products that meet Chinese customers' demands. Philippine and U.S. troops conduct joint anti-tank military exercise. Philippine and U.S. soldiers took part in an anti-tank live fire exercise in the Philippines' largest military amid tensions with Beijing over the South China Sea. The drills are part of two-week annual bilateral exercise between Manila and the U.S., with this year's edition being the largest in scale yet, with over 17,000 participating soldiers. Speaking at a news conference, Philippine Army Commanding General Romeo Brunner said the exercises that they are doing all in line with the order of the President. The Salaknib exercises that we're uh, doing are all in line with the uh, order of our President, President uh, Ferdinand uh, Romualdez uh, Marcos Jr. for us to defend our territory and not give an inch of our territory. So all of this uh, are geared towards that, towards achieving his order and uh, we are making sure that uh, the Philippines, the, uh, the entire country, not just the armed forces of the Philippines, would be ready in case uh, a threat would come to our shores. China's foreign minister criticized the joint venture, saying they must not interfere in the South China Sea disputes, much less harm China's territorial sovereignty, maritime rights and interest, and security interest. What you're seeing here with Balakatan and Salakanib is an expression of us trying to commit to enabling and assisting the Philippine military on being able to protect their national sovereignty and protect you know, the, the territorial integrity of, of, uh, of the Philippines. Residents in Japan's northern region were jolted by an alert warning. Residents in Japan's northern region of Hokkaido were jolted by an alert warning early morning, telling people to take over after North Korea fired a new model of long-range ballistic missile. I was on the train and panicked for a moment, but the station staff were so calm, so I calmed down. A man who was mid-commute when the alert sounded said, Meanwhile, some residents said they were not sure what the warning broadcast by Japan's J-Alert system was for, even though they were alarmed by the loud siren. I was on the train and panicked for a moment, but the station staff were calm, so I calmed down. <laughs> Japanese authorities later retracted the alert for the island when they determined that the missiles would not fall nearby. Japan called a National Security Council meeting in response to the launch. 
放送内容もあまりよく。After the jail alert sounded, there was an announcement saying to take cover on the ground because of the danger that something might fall. Defense Minister Yasukazu Hamada said the missile appeared to have been fired eastward at a high angle and did not fall in the Japanese territory. Vietnam capital struggles with severe air pollution. Hanoi experienced severe air pollution as the air quality index AQI in the Vietnamese capital climbed to 161, breaching the unhealthy level. The air pollution today has gotten quite serious, even with this nice and cold weather. Taking a walk in this condition makes me feel unsafe. Compared to yesterday, the air today is thicker with dust, smoke and pollution. It's the start of a new week, so there are many more vehicles on the road because people are making their way to work. The PM2.5 concentration in Hanoi is currently 17 times the WHO annual air quality guideline value. According to the IQ Air, a Swiss pollution technology company, Hanoi's poor air quality is largely a result of emissions from motor vehicles, of which there are over 8 million in the city, as well as crop burning. Malaysia can learn from China's poverty eradication experience. Malaysia's Prime Minister Datuk Seri Anwar Ibrahim, who wrapped up his three-day visit to China, said in a recent interview that he and Chinese President Xi Jinping exchanged views on various issues during their meeting, and President Xi is very forthcoming in poverty eradication, and Malaysia can learn from Chinese experience. I think for uh, the meeting with President Xi Jinping, because um, it was not just a normal diplomatic uh, encounter talking about trade or investment, but we discussed uh, quite a number of issues relating to our philosophy, our views of the world, issues of values, issue of uh, civilization. We converse as uh, trusted friends. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course we did touch on specific issues of uh, what uh, we uh, expect from China and, and vice versa, the issue of um, uh, shared future, um, the issue of uh, trade investments, um, training, and also um, the potential uh, of uh, collaboration between these two countries. As the former Deputy Prime Minister took the oath of office to become Malaysia's new Prime Minister in November 2022, Anwar said that he has been sparing no efforts in poverty eradication since he took the office. What China has achieved in the field is worth learning from and President Xi is willing to offer help in this regard. Thousands of people celebrate the water festival after COVID-19 hiatus. Tens of thousands of revelers, including hordes of foreign tourists armed with plastic water guns, descended on the streets of Bangkok for the biggest traditional New Year gathering since the pandemic. I feel good to have this festival back. Also, the economy has gotten a boost. It's better than letting the city go quite like before. I feel really happy as I see people coming back here. Before that, I was staying at home for the last two years. Festivities for Songkrang, a much-loved Thai festival, sometimes described as the world's largest water fight, had been muted or barred for the past few years due mainly to COVID-19 restrictions. Travelers returning to Thailand, the tourism sector is helping revive Southeast Asia's second largest economy. It's so good. I feel like, first of all, it cools me down and makes me feel more energetic as we have this festival back. Revelers, many of them soaked to the skin, walked through a half kilometer long stretch in Bangkok's tourist hub of Khao San Road, indiscriminately firing water guns and dancing to music blaring from curbside establishments. This uh, festival with the water shooting, it's really unique in all the world. And uh, wow, my kids might love it. I tried to go home and I say, no, no, we're going to stay. So uh, 
really, really good. Fantastic, uh, great, great culture from the from the Thai people. Talon Water Festival resumes with a vengeance after COVID-19 hiatus. Well, thank you for tuning in today. Enjoy your week as ahead. Stay safe, stay healthy. We will see you soon.